I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a response uh, to Mr. Repsion's video about that interesting case of biology and not bigotry. The funny thing is, I have a friend staying with me uh, for the next 24 hours and a little time before, who actually is married. Uh, big hello to his wife over in uh, Ohio. Um, long story. Fun stuff. Tell you later. Anyway, so basically, I'm going to construct a counter-argument here about biology. He is married. He has kids. Uh, he has a wife. It's a heteronormative uh, relationship um, that's reached some very dynamic conclusions. Love him. Anyway, what I was going to say was his stance on the whole thing as someone who cares about the per perpetuation of his line and property rights, it doesn't really bother him what two individuals do with each other. And that's the simple biology of it. His line is perpetuated. The law currently favors next of kin. Now, I don't happen to agree with him that it's more orderly to have it go to the biological next of kin, whether that's your parents or your brothers or your sisters over your spouse. I understand the reasoning, don't get me wrong. I understand that it's a well-entrenched system and I do understand that we definitely need something just as comprehensive and just as easy to apply if we want to move past it. I dig it. If anyone wants to put up some suggestions either in the comment section uh, so I can read them out here on camera and give you the props you deserve, or you want to make a video response, please do. <sighs> However, he had a good point. If, if it takes, from the biological standpoint, if a male has, if a male has, can focus more of his time into females that are willing to breed with him, he has more of a chance to breed. From a biological imperative standpoint, that means that an easy way, like a wedding ring, which identifies females who uh, would be less likely to breed with him or would have more complications in bearing his children, he has an advantage there. When it comes to women, same, same applies. So if you want to say it's biology and not bigotry, sure, there's the biological standpoint that says more straight people will have more children with more straight people once they know who's good to breed with. I'm Ozzy Griffin. Thank you for watching, and remember, uh, if any of if any of you lovely ladies need a sperm donor, I'm really not on the list right now. Sorry. Talk to you later. <laughs>